This video will cover three topics. First, the difference between A-B testing and multivariate testing. Second, what type of test you should deploy on your website. Third, five things to remember when you are conducting any type of testing on your website or campaign. First, the difference between A-B testing and multivariate testing. Both A-B and multivariate testing are built on the same concept, splitting visitors between several designs of your website or web page and determining which of these designs generates more conversions. A-B testing first allows you to test one variation for each page on your website. For example, you can create different designs, uh, layout for an e-commerce product page, where you test if you should place the product images on the left side or the right side of the page. You can test a variation in the headline on a lead generation web page. You can test different designs of your blog subscription page, where each variation of these pages has different subscribe button, maybe in its color, size, etc. A-B tests are excellent for testing new and radical designs of an entire page or a process and provide a quick and easy way to get started with online testing. A-B testing does not require a lot of traffic or conversions to conduct a successful test. Now, testing radical changes between the original design, the control, and the variations might produce an increase in conversion rates, but also you might not be able to rationalize the observed conversion improvements. Now, A-B tests allow you to test at least one page design against the control at a time. So by definition, they take into account only one variable at a time which means uh, you might not be able to detect the variable interaction between different designs. Now, A-B testing is excellent in measuring the impact of uh, two to five new designs compared to the original. Now, tests with more designs against the original or the control can take longer to conduct, so you want to keep that in mind. Multivariate testing, on the other hand, allows you to test several variations of several elements on a web page at once. For example, you can test several variations of the product headline or product name on an e-commerce product page, and several variations of the product image, several variations of the add to cart button. MVT testing allows you to zoom in and focus on changes at an element level. It requires a lot of traffic, and conversions to conclude a test. If you are not careful, you can end up with testing thousands of designs against the original. Now, since multiple elements are typically changed within a single multivariate test, it is difficult to isolate the exact reason why a particular design performed a certain way. MVT testing is very powerful. However, you must be careful when using it to optimize your conversion rates. Most companies forget about the large volume of visitors and conversions which are required to complete a multivariate test. As a result, they find themselves running tests for several weeks without uh, bringing a test to a conclusion. Additionally, many companies tend to change elements randomly since testing software allows them to do so without really thinking about the rationale behind the change. Now, this mistake alone can kill the benefits of any testing program. Multivariate tests versus an A-B test. Which type of test you should use on your website? Should you start with an A-B or multivariate test for a particular page? There's really no correct answer to this question. A-B tests are really good for testing alternate designs of an entire page or process. We usually recommend using them while deciding high-level changes or what we call radical changes to the optimized area. MVT testing, on the other hand, allows you to fine-grain, to conduct fine-grain testing for a particular page. They are really very helpful in determining the values that have the most impact on visitors. A-B testing is highly recommended in the following scenarios. If you are just starting out with the testing process, if you have limited number of website visitors, or if you have limited number of uh, website conversions, if you are looking for radical departure from the existing design, 
if you are starting with a new page, which means that you do not have a page that has been launched for some time. Multivariate testing is highly recommended in the following scenarios. If you've been conducting A-B testing for at least six to eight months, if you have large number of monthly visitors, maybe more than 100,000 visitors, if you have large number of monthly conversions, more than 1,200 conversions per month, and if you are looking to fine tune existing designs, or if you have already launched your landing page. For most companies, we recommend starting with an A-B test or an A-B experiments. That will allow you to test major design changes to your website. However, if you already have existing pages, we start with small, small multivariate tests, less than 12 or so different combinations or scenarios. The goal of these initial tests is to determine which of the elements, headline, images, benefit list, etc., resonates most with your visitors and have the most impact on your conversions. Analysis of the first test results will help guide the need for future MVT or AB testing. Five things to remember when conducting testing on your website. First, determine which of your website pages are good candidate for optimization. You need to look at your analytics to determine which of your pages are leaking the most visitors and have the most impact in terms of financial revenue on your business. Second, the number of visitors who will go through the actual web page or process getting tested impacts how fast a test will conclude. So although your website might have 500,000 visitors a month, a particular page which you, want, which you may want to test might be getting a lot less visitors. Third, you should not run your test for more than four weeks. Four, pick the right conversion page. Not every test should have the goal of increasing macro conversions. Many successful tests help in increasing what we call micro conversion. Now, this is particularly important if your website or landing page does not receive enough conversions or enough visitors. Starting out with micro conversions tests allows you to conduct testing, but maybe on a smaller scale. Five, examine what elements you should test on a particular page. Not all elements on a page will have the same impact on your conversion rates. Determine which elements will have the most impact on your bottom line based on marketing data, personas, and your web analytics. With that, happy testing and make sure you subscribe to our channel.